Welcome back to Strictly Money. Uh, with credit drying up, small and mid-cap companies are among the hardest hit in the financial crisis. But our next guest says there are golden opportunities on the A market, which is uh, the small market at the end of the market, plus uh, elsewhere in these markets. Um, so joining us is John French, who is chairman of a number of AIM and Plus listed companies, including Resources in Insurance Group and Sutherland Health Group. Well, John, thanks for talking to us. Now, can we just first look at AIM, the, the, the whole AIM market? It has to have been outperforming the FTSE in the past, but what is its position now? Is it, is it still doing that, or is it sort of losing ground a little bit? I think it's losing ground for a number of reasons. We've had a lot of AIM companies are now looking to come down to plus. Another great advocate of the plus market for the smaller companies. Um, it, it's, it's forgotten what it started out to be, which is to provide funding for the smaller companies. The great green-eyed monster of greed has taken place. The uh, institutions, or rather more brokers, can actually make a lot more money out of floating the bigger AIM companies, and it's just lost its way. Problem is, as well, is once you're listed on the market, you're at the vagaries of that market, and as you know as well as I do, John, there's not many market makers market, uh, making liquidity in these smaller companies, uh, and people turn down very quickly. Liquidity is a big issue once you come to market for small companies, isn't it? I think it's a very good point, but liquidity is often an excuse for people not to invest. I think if you look at a kind that's coming to a market, the key is to establish its shareholder base at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the largest sources of investment for small companies are the VCTs and the EIS funds, and of course, they're long-term holders. So if you're going to bring Brogs PLC to the market, you must make sure your broker is getting a correct spread of the VCT long-term holders and try then to get some degree of liquidity through private people taking part uh, and some of the private client brokers. So it's, the, it's like the product mix in a funny sort of way. Hmm. And how do, you, how do you list on AIM? I mean, what sort of a, a costly process is it for companies that are trying to, to reach that level? Well, I, so I do both. Uh, I've brought about 18 companies to the market over the years and I'm chairing four or five now. Um, I'm notorious for taking the, the pretty hard nose on costs. I was asked to float one a couple of years ago and the quote was 650. I actually did it for 250. The, the risk is you go and appoint some of the big five accountants and you don't need to. There's some very, very good accountants at a, the next tier level. Instead of paying £180,000 for long form, short form working capital, you can get it done for forty. So the cost has been a big factor. But also the cost of being on AIM is dearer. If you go to, go to PLUS, a company with a turnover up to about £2 million is only costing it £6,000 a year. You don't need a broker, you do need a corporate advisor. Yeah, and you need a lot of front men as well. You need a media relations Absolutely. advisor as well, Absolutely. spokesperson. You need a lot more people looking at the audits as well because it's Absolutely. a lot more complicated when you're a listed company as well. Uh, in terms of the overall cost structure, Claire mentioned the structure of going to market. The, the costs of running a PLC compared with running a, a private company, I mean, presumably are extraordinarily higher, aren't they? Well, they are. Uh, as I say, it's, it's a case of individual cases. They are, of course, they're higher because you've got obligations and all sorts of situations you, quite rightly, have to account for. But I think the decision is, you first, well, do I want to be public? Why do I want to be public? Would I rather run a private company and look after my pension fund? Can I grow my business? Can I create capital wealth by being private? That's the real argument. Mm. And then you weigh up with its aim or plus, and that's simply down to size and the costs, and if you said PLC is the route, then you must expect the cost of doing that and weigh it up against the opportunities it creates. I've got about five seconds left. De equitisation, is it going to get worse in 2009 or are we going to see some improvement by the end of the year? Confidence is the key issue. If, I think the big thing is, is there are stocks out there grossly undervalued. If people would look at those, it would give some confidence in the market. Come back and join us soon and we'll see how the, the SME side is getting on uh, on, the, uh, on the IPO, IPO front. But thank Be you very much for joining us. So John French, uh, Chairman. Um, of a number of groups, as we mentioned earlier. Well, millions of people around the world, they are